Hello guys, welcome to TechMod and uh, this is another tutorial about API testing using Postman and this is a, a very advanced tutorial related to test scripts so if you don't have much experience about Postman or not, do check out my other awesome videos I have nearly covered about 12 to 13 videos about Postman how you can write your particularly test suite how you can give this the text test environment and all in this uh, in the Postman right so uh, this will be pretty much advanced stuff uh, so let's get started so uh what is a test script first of all so uh in the postman what we have is that test uh, script basically a code that you can execute before before a request that is has been made or you can say a script a kind of script that you can run after a particular test all right so uh, like we have a pre-request script so what it does is that it, it runs previous whenever we want it to, when we are going to make a request for example suppose i have a cat request to a particular json file right i wanted to access it so but before this json i wanted to set certain kind of variable dynamically or probably wanted to do certain kind of things so what i can do is that i can write my law all kind of logic in the pre-request pre script all right and after getting the response of this uh, particular api i can write my certain test cases or probably certain kind of different things i wanted to do after uh, getting this response that is the test script in postman all right so uh you got the got the point right let's move on to the table of contents so what we are going to discuss is that i have discussed previous we are going to discuss about prescript and the test script basics uh we will write certain prescripts and test scripts we will write certain advanced stuff and uh in the fourth and five part uh what we are going to do is that we'll basically live uh try to uh leverage this sandbox api that is uh uh, particularly you can say certain kind of custom javascript code that we can write in this kind of scripts windows in postman all right and in the third one we will get to know about four or five different kind of dynamic variable that we can leverage in our test postman test cases all right let's start with for first one the first one is a pre pre in the postman pre script you can say so what is the pre test scripts right uh pre test scripts or you can say pre recorded script is basically a snippet of code that is associated with collection or you can say a different kind of request that are executed before the request all right so suppose you wanted to make a particular request like if but to a particular json you can write that okay before uh making a request what you can do is that i can set certain kind of variables okay so this is theoretical part i will give you a demo and just bear with me for a few times uh this is the second one is the test script this is executed after when we have made a request for example as you can see in the picture i have made a request to a get a particularly a mod a site like cheerio.org and after that i wanted to test uh, what kind of things that i'm getting i can write my post script up after it all right so uh the basically you can say the sandbox api that uh we are discussing about in postman it supports different kind of multi node modules so these are the basic node modules that uh this uh, sandbox api uh provider so what we can do is that we can leverage them in our test cases right so atop like beat atop is basically you can say base 64 uh string conversion and 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 code and decode you can say uh bto is reversal of that one chai is a test or uh, you can say testing framework cheerio is a similar to jquery and we have other modules related to like crypto js for cryptography and all lodash for certain kind of utilities postman collection is already we are using in postman t4 is a basically json schema validator uid and xml are basically the modules which provides a different uid and uh, last one is basically converting that your xml response into a json so that uh, you can uh, do whatever you want so xml j to js basically and there are different three uh, like probably four modules uh the this test scripts we can use like we can use path hazard buffer and utils all right i have given the path of all of them to node.js you can find the references or you can check out my other node.js node tutorial where i discussed mainly about path and hazards right okay so let's come to some demo part all right uh here we go so i have uh, I have a postman open and as you can see this is the postman if you have no idea what is going on right now Just check out my other 11 to 12 tutorials about postman. They'll give you a basic idea how you can run all right so uh, this is a prescript tab and uh, As you can see I'll making a request all right, and I have empty empty 
So this is an API that I have made. I am making a request and see. Let me say it will come. Oh, meanwhile, what we can discuss that pre-script as we uh, have discussed to you guys. Okay, the response will come. So we can write certain logic uh, like if we wanted to set particular environmental variable or anything like that. So as you can see, right hand side, we can set environmental variable or we can set a global variable in the pre-script. And similarly, whatever things that we can write in test, we can do in pre-scripts also. But it will run, it will run previous to the making the request. So you have to be uh, sure about uh, about it. Generally, what we do in that case is that, uh, for example, I wanted to set certain kind of uh, environmental variable. Uh, I can set okay, this is the URL, and I can like this is the URL, and I can set here that path, right? And if I wanted to see what is this path here. Uh, let me do one thing that paste it out here. You can do that, right? And but we have to require the part, right? Okay. Let's see. Okay. One is I'll open the console. So console window can be opened uh, if you have a Postman native app, not Chrome app, right? So just install the native app, it, the console will be there. So let's send this request. And as you can see, this is the path that is getting printed, all right? And not, not, null is nothing just let's uh, this is This is the path. This is basically, you can say, uh, different things I am getting uh, by running this test, all right? So this is how uh, prescripts work. Uh, you can write anything that you wanted to do here. And so let's see, uh, let's come to a test one. So uh, what you can do is that you can leverage the assert, assert, met, assert of node module. I have already one tutorial for Node.js for assert, especially do check it out here. And you can use the path as well as util, right? And as if I wanted to see what is this the, they are talking about, uh path not this okay yeah let's come to one understanding all right so we have a different different methods that we can use all right in the path for this path one like path dot name if you wanted to test so uh this thing you can use in your postman all right but right now if you use the path path it basically gives you this this one this get request that you are making all right and uh, you can use asserts like i have used here for example and i have what what i have done is that i have mixed util and assert so util uh, there's a particularly functions related to it like if i wanted to check if certain value is null or not so assert or okay true it returns a null so this will be passed all right and what we can do is that if we wanted to write certain kind of assert means i want if we wanted to leverage the assert method of methods or modules of Node.js, you can use it here. You can uh, create a test test array of uh, test case based basis here. Basically, you can write whatever you want here. And uh, what what we can do is that uh, and here you can assert anything that you wanted to like. Apart from this code snippet, uh, this is the advanced stuff. So you can write like here, all right? And this is how you can use Cheerio library. Cheerio is basically kind of jQuery. I have made a request to it. I can load the path and I can go to its ID and console it out, whatever the documents I can get it. All right. So uh, I just wanted to tell you this is the advanced stuff. And here, what we are doing is that we are leveraging the sandbox APIs as well as node certain kind of node modules in our pre request scripts as well as test scripts. Previously, we have written only the pure test scripts or you can say the code that is only Postman provide. But here, that is things are different. We are, we are, we are more, we can write more test cases around it because we have a full assert method as well as child method, right? All right. Okay. So last thing I wanted to tell you about is this. All right. So dynamic variables, uh, these are the method, this basically these are the methods you can use in your test scripts like random int. It will give you uh, random integer between 0 to 1000 timestamps uh, it will basically give you the time 
and GUID is basically gives you a random uh, it basically provides you UUID right how you can use it for, for example if you wanted to set header let's say key I'm just randomly get UID and you have to pass dollar all right and if you set it nothing will happen but uh, this request will contain this UID all right you can if you wanted to see I can see it or not I uh, can it see it right here let's do one thing I can just um, brace it let me convert it out all right all right all right guys so so this is the or uh, you can say uh test references you can check it out different different uh, links if you wanted to test it out so this is how generally we write that for advanced test scripts in postman uh, all right so see you in the next tutorial and do check out my library thank you guys